Colts' La Tech defense, no doubt about it. Yeah, 46 tackles on the season, eight yep. of them for loss. They are missing him tonight and indefinitely. And Western Kentucky starts with a run. On a new drive, it's Marquise Step. Cecil Singleton Jr. comes down from... WKU will mix up tempos, read throws on the run, complete sideline, missed tackle, and this could be big. Hilltoppers on the way, it's Malachi Corley. Goodbye. So following the 70-yard touchdown, we've got two scores in the first three minutes of the game. And LaTeX will take over at the 25. Last time we saw this Bulldogs offense, it was five plays, one incompletion for the most dangerous slot receivers in the country. And on first down, Turner with lots of space, booting to his right, throws incomplete. He put it right on Cyrus Allen. He threw it right to him. Uh, second you gotta, gotta, gotta catch that one. Allen couldn't squeeze it, and there's a really, really talented quarterback. It sort of hurt their, their passing offense when he went down. Again, Harris the motion man, and they swing it out to him, and you see how electric he is right off the bat. Smoke Harris's first touch goes for 16 yards. Nico Cooper makes the stop. Look out, Jack Turner gets blown up. The ball is free, and that's a loose ball batted out of bounds by La Tech. Kendrick Simpkins, the strong safety, came in hot off the edge. I see Smoke Harris bottom of your screen just motioned out. Fourth and four, Western brings the heat. Turner throws a dart. Kyle Maxwell inside the 40. He's got a first down and more for the Bulldogs. A gain of 18. Really good for the season. Yeah, we didn't even know if he was going to go tonight. Game time decision. Just over five minutes into this first quarter. LaTeX keeps it on the ground. It's Charvis Thornton, another guy who was banged up coming in. Picks up two. Yeah, Maxwell and... Shelton back in there at running back, and he gets the call on second down and nine. Shelton, what a move, but he only picks up a few yards. Set up third down. Talik Allen wrestles him down. They seem to, to keep trying to go. Frank Harris. Elijah Young's the running back for Western Kentucky. He'll pick up a couple yards on first down after they started from the 30. Hilltopper's a team that loves to throw. More than two-thirds of their plays are designed. Reed throws again, looking same spot, different target, almost hauled in with one hand by Corley. Willie Roberts in coverage again on that left side. He goes two for two in coverage, and it's fourth down ball. And Roberts wins the battle. So they bring out Tom Eller to punt it away on fourth down and seven. The always dangerous Smoke Harris back deep to receive. He returned one for a touchdown last week. He calls for the fair catch here, a 37-yard punt. Set. You obviously learn it in games, and... Jack Turner throws. His man has a step, but the throw is too deep. It was Cyrus Allen, their top vertical threat. Turner led him a little bit too much. Davion Williams in the coverage. Coach Leach's Bulldogs and Coach Cumbie, as you said, got a little emotional talking with the pressure's coming. Yep, and that is a big hit in the backfield and an incomplete pass. TK Williams on the pressure for Western Kentucky brings up fourth down and seven. Turner just got the kid, but I think Garoppolo is the answer if he's healthy. Austin Reed looks to throw on first and ten. Looking sideline, he's got to complete again. It's Malachi Corley. His top receiver who caught over 100 passes last year has this one. Corey Munson's kick. Fielded by Cyrus Allen. And he's going down inside the 15. A big collision. Kylan got a great jump. They bring the heat, third and one. Turner will throw, they pick up the blitz beautifully. Gives him a chance to take a shot. Intercepted. The tip drill, won by Virgil Marshall. He's got blockers in front. Marshall inside the 20. Ball again here in Ruston. Western Kentucky trying to pour it on. They start from the 16 yard line on the ground. It goes to LT Sanders and he's wrapped up and twisted down around the seven yard line. And they give it to him. He barrels forward across the goal line. Touchdown, Western Kentucky. A one-yard plunge for Davion Irvin Poindexter. And the Hilltoppers have... Munson's kick. Bounces through the end zone. Louisiana Tech will try to bounce back after that interception. Jack Turner just threw. They... Again, Simpkins 16 showing blitz. 
And here he comes around the edge. Turner feels the heat, evades it, tucks it, runs. Turner lowers the shoulder. He will not get there. Kylan Guidry on the stop for Western Kentucky. Corner blitz. They love to bring heat on fourth down and two. Turner keeps it on the option. Sheds a tackle. He's got the first down before he gets stood up and form tackled by Talik out. Keep it on the ground this time with Shelton. Finds a hole and finds some space and gets blasted as he picks up a first down. A flag comes in behind the play. Kendrick Simpkins made the stop that they run without him. In a sack and a forced fumble in the first quarter. Turner going deep. A lot of contact, some hand fighting, no penalty. He was trying to get it to true. They empty it out for Reed, who throws. They set up the screen on first down. And a nice tackle on the perimeter by Willie Roberts. Corners are doing, are they in press coverage? Are they off and makes the, the checks? So poised in the pocket this yeah. time. He's got to dance out, throws across his body. That is a bullet caught by Jimmy Holiday. And Holiday splits a couple of Bulldogs and has a... a second down and six. Reed will throw again. This time he fires up the left sideline. Incomplete. And again, a lot of contact. Jamal Shelby... In These are going to be awesome games. Baker Mayfield, guest picker, by the way, on college game day. Third down and six. A big pop for Western Kentucky. It's Corley again. Stays in bounds. And 48 yards for Malachi Corley. A little bit more quiet the last few weeks. Their defense has gotten the job done, especially last week. And today they have erupted for 28 in the first 20 minutes and change of this game. Third down and 10. Western Kentucky brings the pressure one more time. Throw complete. That time McAllister looks it in, but he might have lost the football. I think they're saying incomplete. incomplete. They rule it an incomplete. Looked like a catch as well. Oshendorf's punt just gets it away. It's a spiraling kick and a good one. Fair caught inside the third. By the way, 145 of those 180 yards for Austin Reed have gone to Malachi Corley. So keep an eye on 11 in white and red. Corley's career high is 162. Keep it on the ground on first. They started jumbo, now go empty. Reed going through his progressions, throws between a couple of tight ends. Incomplete, it was deflected near the line. And this guy could turn the game on a dime. Tom Ellard out to boot it away. He's going to have a look. And yeah, he'll have a chance. Fielding it inside his 25. He housed one last week against Utah. And Smoke takes it to the... Blake Oschendorf sends it end over end. Bounces inside the 15. And Katie Hutchinson lets it scoot out of bounds. Like he took three steps after initially. Second and four. That's where they the go. Corley way, so dangerous that in open field. He lowers the shoulder the and again tiptoes yeah, the sideline. This time he steps. 16 yards Reed the at the controls. They get the snap off. Reed looks right toward Corley. Now rolls. He can use his legs. Instead, he throws and completes it. First down into La Tech territory for Western Kentucky. Block is running down. Big drop there. And they snap it. Reed throws. That's complete. And that's a first down. Dalvin Smith ran a great route at the sticks. And he moves him. Just down. No, you have to punt the football away. Your defense just got to stop with the deep last drop. drive. And a deep throw. Got an opportunity Up here. The sideline incomplete. Really talented punter. Again, it was Dalvin Smith, the intended target. Knocked the pylon over. Third down and seven.